This week, we're returning to Fort Myers to see how families we first visited back in October are rebuilding from Hurricane Ian. Reporter Sophia Hernandez and photojournalist Ismail Lewis continue their series of reports. Today, they share personal stories from people who still feel grateful after losing so much. Back in October, I met the Greenlings, their home. It was just everything, all belongings, everything waist deep. Saw the brunt of Hurricane Ian. We had three cars. I lost a Jeep, a Toyota, and a uh, Cadillac. Fast forward to now, and Vicki Lou has got a new ride. This is what I have now. She's managed to stay positive. Vicki Lou's bed floated up and her dressers went underneath. Her home saw seven to eight feet of water damaging everything inside, a loss that could only be described as devastating. I've lived here 52 years, so I should have been seasoned, but I'm preparing now. Someone else who is preparing for this upcoming hurricane season is Billy Wheeler. Because the water came to about right about here. The motorcycle super fan lost everything below his two story home. Six motorcycles, a truck, all of his tools, approximately $30,000 in damages. The roof was the only thing he was able to get fixed. And that's when I found out on my insurance that nothing under the house was covered. Other than that, I read my policy and hey, you got to really read your policy <laughs> and understand what they're telling you because I needed to get a whole nother policy if I wanted things covered under the house. Since the storm, Billy, at 72 years old, has been trying to fix what he can. I'm just exhausted, but somebody's got to do it. And I, the prices I've been getting to have it done, I really can't afford it. So he's been moving slowly. When I first met Billy, his beloved man cave was trashed. His shed full of water, neighbors' pools strewn in his backyard. Well, these are all new couches now because the other ones I had to get rid of. I had, I, you know, I put the fireplace, the floor. I mean, I really had it nice. While there are homeowners like Vicki, Lou, and Billy who are fortunate enough to keep their homes, there were thousands of homes across the city of Fort Myers and Fort Myers Beach left just like this one. You can see I am standing on what once was a home. Right next door, another home completely destroyed. The debris still not picked up. Next town, the street, there is construction still going on while homeowners try to recover whatever they can. It's kind of funny because we all have the same story, but different chapters. I mean, it's it's we aren't all in the same boat, but when I think back, I think, oh my God, how did we cope? How did we do this? But I'm I'm just grateful. I could choke up. I could choke up with the help that we were given. I'm so grateful. The gratitude extends to Billy, who opened his home during the storm, not just to Vicki Lou's family, but to every home on the block. That's the whole thing, I guess. Once you once you you see how your neighbors are, and you know, I'm, I felt bad for a lot of them, but I mean, you can only do so much because you still got your own stuff to do. For Billy, it's this. For Vicki Lou, she's already replaced her kitchen, even got a shoe rack, but didn't want her cameras to see the inside as she's still awaiting a bedroom set and wants to make her house feel like a home. It takes time. It takes time. The neighbors just glad the worst is over, hoping to start over and stay dry this hurricane season. So I bite the bullet and I keep tracking on. No matter how much the pain hurts, the next day I get up and I say, come on, you can do it again, and I do it. One step at a time. In Fort Myers, Sophia Hernandez reporting. And stay with Florida 24 Network, Sophia's reporting continues Friday. She sits down with the mayors of two hard-hit communities in southwest Florida, how they're rebuilding and the progress they're already seeing. That's Friday, starting at 5 p.m.